morning children how are you all i hope you all are fit and fine so dear children in the last video we have seen chapter number 9 perimeter and area exercise number 2 in that we have discussed about area so students the surface occupied by an object is its area then we have seen several formulas area of rectangle equals to length into breadth and area of square is equals to length into length or side into side then students Area is always written or measured in square units. Okay, you are going to use square centimeter, square meter, square kilometers like this. Okay, now let us continue, students, with step problem number six. So, in your textbooks, find the area and perimeter of a square field of side sixteen meter. Which is more, area or perimeter? Simple question is given to us, students. Here, the side of square field is given to us. The side of square field is given sixty. 16 meter. Okay, fine. We have written side of the square field is 16 meter. Then you have to find out its area and perimeter. So the perimeter of square formula is 4 into side. So here side is given 16. So 4 16s are how much students? 64 meter square. Or you can write it as 64 sqm means square meter. <coughs> okay, then. Area also we have to find out. So its area is equals to side into side means sixteen meter. Sorry, ah, huh? its perimeter. By mistake I have written square here. Its perimeter. So we will write sixty four meter. Square will be written with area. So sixteen meter into sixteen meter. Let us multiply and then we will write its area, students. So six six are thirty six. Six one are six seven eight nine. Okay, one six are six. One one are one. So six nine ten fifteen and here two two fifty six I got students. So here I write two fifty six meter square as the area of the square field. Then now you have to compare students which is more perimeter of the square field is more or area is more that is only asked in the second line of the question. Which is more here you can see perimeter is only sixty four meter square but area is two hundred fifty six meter square. So here we will write area. Of the square field is more. Understood, students? Okay. Area of the square field is more than the perimeter. If you want, you can write. Okay. So this was solution number six. Now let us see our next question, students. Question number seven. Find the area of a room five meter wide. W i d e wide. I explained you know wide means width. Breadth of the room is given. Okay, and four meter fifty centimeter long. So length is also given. Bre length and breadth of the room is given. We have to find the area. So area of rectangular shaped room will be length into breadth. Let us see students. So here we will write the first step. That is um, width of the room. It is given five meter. Then length of the room is given. Four meter fifty centimeter. So here I write four meter fifty centimeter. Then we have to find its area. So area of room is equals to length into breadth means five meter into four meter five hundred centimeter. Sorry, fifty centimeter. Let us multiply it. So students, while multiplying, we can see here the width is in meters and here the length is in meters and centimeters. So what we will do? We will take the same unit. Here fifty centimeter also I will convert into meters. And we know students one meter is equals to hundred centimeter. So one centimeter is equals to one upon hundred meters. Okay. In the same manner, fifty centimeter will be fifty upon hundred meters. Now we can write the answer in points. So it will become zero point five. Zero meters, or simply also you can write zero point five meters. Same thing only. So here simply I am writing zero point five meters. Then students, now how to solve? Simply I'll write now five. Sorry, yeah, meters only. Now five into four point five meters. Now both are in meters. Let us multiply. Five fives are twenty five. Okay, fine. I'll write square meter here. Then two carry over. Five twos are ten. Eleven. 12. So I got 22.5 square meters as the area of the room, students. I hope the solution is clear to you. So uh, keep in mind, students, when 
the units are different you can convert and make and uh, change the unit into same only here i have converted 50 centimeters into meters now it is 0 uh, 0.50 or 0.5 meters then we have multiplied it with 5 meter so 5 meter into 4.5 meter will get 22.5 square meter here it will be 5 meters note it down then we'll see the next question So let's see question number 8 students. Find the number of tiles required to cover a room 300 meter long and 250 meter broad if the length of each tile is 5 meter and breadth is 3 meter. Okay fine. See students here what you have what you are given with is the area and uh, the length and breadth of a room is given to us. Okay the, uh, the length and breadth of a room is given to us and also the length and breadth of tile which we are going to cover which using which we are going to cover the floor of the room that is also given to us so here we have to find how many number of tiles will be required to cover the area the to cover the area of the floor okay so let us see students how many tiles we will require look here length of room length of room is given 300 meters then breadth of room is given 250 meters okay now let us find the area of room students so area of room is length into breadth that's why 300 meters into 250 meters first of all let us find the area of the room or in uh, on which you are you want to cover the area uh, cover the uh, surface with the cover the floor with the tile so here area of room is equals to length into breadth so here three first i'll put square meters okay then one two three three zeros okay fine now simply i'll multiply with three so 25 threes are how much students 75 so i got 75000 square meter as the area of the floor of the room understood students now let us find the area of the tile then i'll tell you what we are going to do so length of tile is given 5 meters breadth of tile is given 3 meters simply its area will be 5 threes are 15 5 sorry 5 threes 5 meter into 3 meter so 5 threes are 15 square meters now students let us see suppose this is the room okay and we want to cover it cover the floor of it using tiles how much is the total area of the room it is given 75,000 square meter okay the area of the room is 7500 square meter now you are going to put tiles in this in the on the floor of the room like this we are going to put tiles now student we have uh, now students we have found out the area of the tile also now area of tile is how much 15 square meter how much 15 square meter now understand properly you are asked here how many number of tiles we will put on the floor to cover it so how many number of tiles how to find it out you know that the total area here, here is 75,000 and the area of the tile that you are going to use here is 15, um, 15 square meter. So students number of tiles required will be area of room will be divided with area of a tile then automatically the number of tiles you will be using to cover the floor you will get. So students here I hope the solution is clear to you now. So here I will write 75,000 square meters divided by 15 square meter okay now we know that 15 ones are 15 15 fives are 75 so when you will divide 7 uh, 75000 with 15 you will get 5000 so students how many tiles will be used to cover the uh, cover 75000 square meters 5000 tiles of each of 15 square meters will be used to cover 75000 square meters area understood students okay now note it down then we'll see the next question let us see question number 9 students 100 bricks of length 24 centimeter and 15 centimeter are used to tile a path path means again in simple words a road okay rasta you can say so suppose this is a path okay a road is there and how many bricks are used here students total 100 bricks are used to tile it okay 100 bricks are used here to tile it okay fine find the area of the path you have to give the area of this total path students 
we know that if we want to calculate the area we should have length and breadth but here length of path is given to us no length of uh, breadth of path has given to us that is also not given but what is given students length and breadth of the tie of the brick used is given here okay length and breadth of only the brick used is here here uh, is given here so what we will do students we will find the area of this bricks okay we will find the area of this bricks and then what we are going to do suppose the area of one brick is 5 square meters okay just for example i have taken suppose the area of one brick is how much 5 square meters to so 5 square meters wale kitne bricks aap yahan pe use kar rahe ho we are using 100 bricks so i know that if one bricks area is 5 meter square what will be the area of 100 bricks you are going to multiply it with 100 so we'll get 5 500 meter square that means the total number of bricks used here are having the area of 500 meter square so what will be the total area of the path students it will be equal to 500 meter square only this was just a small example before explaining you the question i hope though i hope the example is clear to you now again i'll explain you with the help of the question let us see 9 point length of the brick here given is 24 cm fine breadth of the brick given here is 15 cm okay then now we will find the area of brick that is 24 सेंटीमीटर इंटू फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर लेट एस फाइंड आउट स्टूडेंट सो ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू फिफ्टीन वी आर गोइंग टू डू फाइव फोर जार ट्वेंटी फाइव टू जार टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व वन फोर जार फोर वन टू जार टू जीरो फोर फाइव सिक्स ओके आई गॉट थ्री सिक्सटी सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर्स ओके स्टूडेंट्स द एरिया ऑफ द ब्रिक हियर इज 360 square centimeters. Now, to students, look number of bricks used to tile the path. How many bricks were used? Hundred bricks. Now, look area of the path is equals to area of hundred bricks. अभी आपको समझाया था मैंने example देके. Okay. So the total area of the path will be equal to the bricks used. So how many bricks used here? Hundred bricks. You know the area of one brick. So we will find the area of hundred bricks then. So again, length into breadth. so no 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 we are not going to write length into breadth here because directly we are having the area of one brick area of one brick is 360 square centimeters we will multiply it with 100 bricks okay so 36000 square centimeters see students we got the area of the path because the area of the path is equal to the area of 100 bricks we were having the area of one brick we have multiplied it with 100 then we got 36000 square centimeter which is the area of the total path i hope the solution is clear to you note it down then we'll see the next question so students question number 10 how many tiles of length 8 cm and breadth 5 cm are needed to tile the floor of a dining space 400 cm long and 400 cm wide uh, question number 8 was of same pattern as is as question number 10 is students here what is given to us we are given with the length and breadth of the floor of a dining space and also we are given with length and breadth of the tile that is used to cover the floor of the dining space so here you have to tell how many number of tiles we will require to cover that floor so students what to do number of tiles equals to total area of the floor divided by area of one tile you will get the number of tiles required let us see students here i have already written the steps length of tile is 8 cm breadth of tile is 5 cm then we have to find out area of tile so 8 cm into 5 cm 8 5 are 40 40 square cm is the area of one tile students Now let us find the area of floor. Length of floor four hundred centimeter. So students, let us see. Area of floor equals to length into breadth. That means four hundred centimeter into four hundred centimeter. So four fours are sixteen and one two three four four zeros. We are going to put. Okay. So this is the area of the floor of the dining space. Now. Number of tiles used will be area of floor, which is sixteen. Okay, square 
सेंटीमीटर वन सेंस हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड लैख या वन लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर डिवाइडेड बाय एरिया ऑफ टाइल इज फोर्टी स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर अंडरस्टूड स्टूडेंट नाउ लेट अस सी सो फोर वन जार फोर 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 जार सिक्सटीन and one zero i have cancelled so how much four and three zeros so students here i got the number of tiles the number of tiles required to cover the area of 160000 square centimeter are 400 tiles with this we have completed this exercise as well as this chapter students i hope each concept the perimeter and area for rectangle and square is clear to you still if you have any doubt you can message your class uh, you are you can message your subject teacher or on the day of live session we'll be clearing the doubts keep your notes complete that's all for today students thank you